Good morning, and that's right. We finally made it to July. It's been a long year so far, and it's going to be a hot start to July. Very humid today. Heat index values could reach as high as 109 degrees, so it's going to be very hot, very humid today. We're also going to have some thunderstorms returning back to the forecast. Take a look at the national view. A couple of systems to talk about. This one into the Midwest, bringing showers to portions of Missouri and Illinois, and then a couple of systems will be pushing into the Mid-South, bringing heavy rain to portions of Alabama northeastern Mississippi and you can see all this red and yellow action. That's heavy rain that is now pushing into central Alabama. There's been flash flood warnings from Tennessee all the way down into northeastern Mississippi just south of Tupelo. So again, heavy rain to our east, heat advisories to our west, all these orange areas. Heat index values could reach as high as 110 degrees today. It is going to be extremely hot. We're already in the 80s. Greenville at 82 degrees, 81 in Clarksdale. So if you like hot weather, well, this is a great forecast for if you don't, we're going to have to wait a while before we get any cool down in the forecast. And again, these dew points are tropical level level this morning. Anytime you have mid 70s to upper 70s, it's pretty rough. It's pretty much air you can wear. You go outside and feel like you jump out or just got out of the swimming pool. So again, we're going to see these humidity levels continue to increase throughout the week and taking a look at the hour by hour forecast again, generally partly cloudy through the first half of the day, maybe a pop up shower this evening into the afternoon hours. But notice we're going to be in the 90s for much of the afternoon and evening. It's going to get hot today and our future tracker agrees with that because by two o'clock we're in the 90s and again that humidity going to make it even worse. Most of the activity will be off to our east, but a couple of pop up showers will be possible on the I-55 corridor, but it's starting to look like the best chance of rain is going to be later in the evening. We'll have more systems pushing out of Tennessee into Mississippi. The first one along the I-55 corridor into northern Mississippi. And then they're gradually going to push further and further to the west with each wave going into tomorrow morning. So just about everyone's going to see rain, but again, the best chance of any shower activity today is going to be along I-55 with those pop up showers. And again, we'll have those waves of rain coming in through the overnight hours into tomorrow. And again, I'm putting Batesville, Grenada, Carrollton. You're going to have the best chance of any rain today. The further west you go, much lower chances of rain. And we're going to continue to see that through the next couple of days until that rain chance increases heading into really tomorrow and and into Friday. So again, we're also dealing with Saharan dust. It's been around for a while. It's going to continue to sit over us really for the next couple of days to maybe even the next week. And this has actually prompted a moderate air quality advisory, which, you know, most people will not be affected by this. But if you're a sensitive group, if you have respiratory issues or pre-existing conditions, you may be dealing with some allergy flare ups today. So that's something to keep in mind. You might want to limit your outdoor activity. Otherwise, you should be OK today. You'll notice some hazy skies again. And again, this isn't a huge deal. Anytime you see the reds or the magenta color, that's when you have to really be concerned. But just be aware of this. And if you have any allergy issues, just stay inside today because it's going to be so hot and humid. You probably want to stay inside in the air condition anyway, because today Heat index values as high as 105 degrees. Again, we won't have the chance of a shower and that will actually be very welcomed. If you ask me, that would help to cool us down a bit because those heat index values are going to top out around 104 in Hollandale, 104 in McGee, 102 in Charleston. And I'm thinking the hottest temperatures are going to be right along that Mississippi River into the west. So again, going to be a very stuffy day tonight. Lows of 75, partly cloudy skies, scattered thunderstorms through the overnight. So you may hear a few rumbles of thunder overnight and maybe even a flash of lightning or two. And tomorrow, even hotter. Heat index values as high as 109. Thunderstorms likely, especially for the first half of the day. Those temperatures continuing in the 90s all week into the 4th of July weekend. So again, you know, Marissa, it is going to continue to be hot as we head into next week, which will be the second week of July.